My name is John Snedeker here at Lasara Medical Group, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to prep and inject a subcutaneous injection for peptides. For prepping a subcutaneous peptide injection, you're first going to remove an alcohol prep pad. This is for sanitizing the top of the vial. You can actually use the same alcohol prep pad for sanitizing the injection site later, so you can pull it off to the side. You'll then remove the back of the orange cap protecting the plunger and remove the top cap protecting the needle. This is a very needle and very delicate, so you want to be very careful that you don't brush this along anything and bend it. For this peptide, the dosage is 20 units. So you will pull the plunger all the way back to the 20, filling it with air. Next, you will then insert the needle into the vial. Rotate this upside down and now press the air into the vial. In doing this, you create pressure inside the vial, which makes it easier to then draw the peptide. So you pull the plunger all the way back to 20 units, which is this dosage. Each vial actually tells you what the dosage is for your subcutaneous injection. So you pull this all the way back. I actually like to pull it back past the 20 and then push up just a little bit, make sure I have a full syringe. Here you can rotate the vial back up, pull the needle out. Now before injecting, you want to make sure there's no air bubbles inside the vial. Sometimes it's near impossible to get every single bubble out. So once you can push out and see the slightest bubble come out in a drop, you know you're ready for injecting. Prior to injecting, you can put the cap back on to keep the needle sanitary and protect yourself. Now for doing the subcutaneous injection, I have my alcohol prep pad. There are a few places that our patients like to subcutaneous inject. The most common is going to be in the belly. You can also do it in the thigh or the glute. So you'll take the alcohol pad and clean off the injection site. Subcutaneous means you're just going beneath the top layer of the skin. So you'll remove the top of the syringe and the needle is going to go in at a slight angle. Because the needle is so small you barely feel it. Once it's in, press the syringe all the way down and the plunger. You remove. Using the same prep pad, you actually cover it up and you can do a little bit of a circle. It helps to diffuse the peptide into the subcutaneous layer. Once you're done, no need to put a Band-Aid on. Very unlikely to have any sort of bleeding when you're injecting peptides. Virtually painless and extremely effective.